Okay, so in this video, we want to discuss the idea of constructing a hierarchy of functions. And the idea is to order functions in increasing order of magnitude. So for us, we have the familiar functions. First, the logarithmic functions, if you think of ln of n. And ln of n is much smaller than power functions. So powers of n, you could take the root of n, just enter the 1 half. You could take n squared, n to the 7, and so forth. Now in turn, power functions are much smaller than exponential functions, like 2 to the n, 3 to the n, and so forth. And these are much smaller than the factorial. And if you recall, the factorial is roughly n to the n over e to the n. And if you combine this over a single power of n, you have n over e to the n. And so if you compare a factorial, which is approximately n over e to the n, with an exponential function, you have a constant base to the nth power. But as n gets goes to infinity here, as n gets bigger and bigger, the base is not constant. n over e becomes larger and larger and larger. So your base here actually blows up as well as the exponent. And you can see why this will then be much larger than a simple exponential function with a constant base. And in turn, the factorial is much smaller than n to the n. As it is n to the n, but divided by e to the n. So you can write this in words. So for us, these are the familiar terms that we'll be considering when dealing with sequences. So the smallest terms are the logarithmic terms. So I'll just write logs. Those are much smaller than power functions, so positive powers of n. Which are much smaller than exponential functions. And when we say exponentials, we mean with a base that is larger than 1. Those are in turn much smaller than the factorial. Which in turn is much smaller than n to the n, and this well is just n to the n. And what do I mean by much smaller? I don't just mean smaller in terms of a multiple. I mean that as n goes to infinity, so again, this hierarchy is when n is very large. So when n is very large, logarithmic functions are much smaller than power functions, which are much smaller than exponential functions, which are much smaller than the factorial, which in turn is much smaller than n to the n. What I mean by much smaller is the following. If you let n approach infinity, and you take the ratio of a lower class function, over an upper class function, the ratio is always 0 in the limit. So if you think of it, if you had a logarithmic function over a power function, you would have an infinity over infinity case. And if you use L'Hopital's rule, you'll find very quickly that no matter what the power is, whether it's 2, 1 half, 1 third, or 1 over 10, any logarithmic function over a positive power of n, and the limit will shrink to 0 using L'Hopital's rule. I will leave this as an exercise. The same thing, if you take a lower class function now that is a power function over an upper class that is an exponential function, take for example n squared over 2 to the n, you will have an infinity over infinity case. If you apply in this case L'Hopital's rule twice, you'll find again a limit of 0.
if you take, say, an exponential lower class function over a factorial upper class function, then again you can clearly see that we'll have a limit of zero. And here we'll do it heuristically. Let's take 2 to the n over n factorial. We will use a heuristic for n factorial, which is that it's approximately n to the n over e to the n. And with this heuristic, we'll have a very good explanation as to why the limit of the ratio is 0. n factorial again is roughly n to the n over e to the n. But if you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. And you can combine here everything over n. You'll have 2 times e as your numerator over n as your denominator. And now, if you think of it, ignore the exponent for now. As n goes to infinity, 2 is a constant over n, so this will shrink to 0. And if you take a larger and larger power of something shrinking to 0, well, this will shrink to 0 as well, which shows that any exponential over a factorial, as n goes to infinity, the ratio does shrink to 0. And finally, if we take as our lower class a factorial over the upper class being n to the n, the limit will also shrink to 0. So let's again give a simple heuristic using our approximation for the factorial. So we have now n factorial over n to the n. n factorial is roughly n to the n over e to the n. And if you divide the fraction by n to the n, it's the same as multiplying by 1 over n to the n. These cancel. And you're left with 1 over e to the n. And as n goes to infinity, e to the n goes to infinity, 1 over infinity will shrink to 0. And that's really it for the heuristic when we use what we derived previously at n factorial is roughly n to the n over e to the n. So keep this in mind. If you ever ask yourself, when you have multiple functions, which one or which ones are larger or smaller than other functions? Logs are much smaller than powers of n, which are much smaller than exponentials with a positive base larger than 1, which are much smaller than the factorial, which in turn is much smaller than n to the n. And again, by smaller we mean that any lower class function over an upper class function will shrink to zero as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's it.